In the previous episode of Sailing Wapiti, we show you the story of how we chose and bought our boat. So with the boat in place, it was just a set sail around the world. But it wasn't that easy. In this episode, we show you how we prepare ourselves and Wapiti for the journey ahead and our sail to Aruba. We begin back in Norway, where we quit our jobs. Thank the uh, maybe. Finished our master thesis. We sold our apartment. We sold our car. And everything else we didn't need. We packed up the rest. And then we threw a big party to say adios to all our friends and family. <laughs> So with everything sorted and our bags packed, we were off. And after a layover in Amsterdam and some serious overweight charges, we arrived in Curaçao and found our new home. She was where we had left her six months earlier and she was a great sight. Getting in, however, turned out to be a much bigger challenge than anticipated. We feared the door had rusted shut. But let's back up. Turns out we had left the boat unlocked the last few months and when arriving actually locked it. We felt quite stupid, but luckily it was dark and everything inside seemed untouched. We spent the next days on the hard, unpacking all our gear and preparing the boat for the water. There was a few days of wax on and wax off, but in the end we launched and found our place in the marina. Marina life is not our favorite, and we were longing for secluded beaches and sunset drinks. But there was some boat work to be done before we could head off. In addition to the basics, like mounting the sails, servicing the toilets, engines, sail drives, and provision, we also had some bigger improvements we had decided to do. We replaced the standing rigging, solar panels, and we needed new batteries. <laughs> What's going on here? Fixing stuff. Or breaking Brand stuff. Brand new batteries. We chose to upgrade from lead acid to lithium, which seemed like the smart choice for us. But the change to lithium required some changes to our electrical system. <laughs> With good help from friends and fellow cruisers, even the most difficult problems, like soldering or alternators, will sort it out. And in the end, all those loose cables were connected, and luckily... Three, two, and... Lithium's working! And with that, and the new name in place, we said our goodbyes to Marina neighbors and set sail on our new adventures. Leaving Curaçao without plans of ever returning was a strange, but also a good feeling of accomplishment. We felt ready for the many nautical miles that lay ahead for the next year, or even years.
Sailing downwind felt extremely liberating, and we had perfect conditions. Starting our journey with a day sail like this to Aruba was just perfect, and exactly what we've been dreaming of. The anticipation for the new place, and at the same time the feeling of freedom and to go wherever the wind takes us, just felt right. We arrived in Aruba late afternoon and dropped anchor at Surfside Beach by the airport just after checking in. Some friends from Curacao was already in the anchorage so we could share some cold ones. These guys call themselves Ocean Nomad and they return in the next episode. The first days in Aruba we had to spend preparing for and completing a defense of our thesis. With that done and passed we were finished with all our commitments back home and we could enjoy a sundowner with no worries. The town in Aruba is colorful, pretty and very clean, but it is mainly a tourist trap and we quickly saw what we needed, so we entered a dirt bike to explore the windward side of the island. Friends recommended some dive sets close to the anchorage, so we uh -huh. tested out a new compressor and prepared for a dive. <laughs> After countless attempts, and a good look in the manual, we eventually got the compressor started and could fill our tanks. Our cruising lifestyle had begun, and we were loving it, even the rainy days. But after a week, we were eager to get sailing towards Jamaica, and also meet up with the gang from Ocean Nomad. Yes, this is sailing yacht for PT, currently uh, with West Haven. Want to uh, more and uh, check out over here. The weather was with us, and we headed for checkouts. The dock was terrible, but seeing familiar boats from our time in Curacao made up for it. It was so nice to see them again, even though we were headed out.
first night sail. Next on Sailing Vapiti, we set out on our first overnight sail across the Caribbean Sea. And we explored Jamaica and Port Antonio. <laughs> 